Hi, I'm Jonas, a winner of multiple national and international science olympiads. I am privileged to have had support from the most amazing tutors in my hometown, and that's why now I'm so passionate about helping students all across Britain to succeed in their exams. In this podcast, we go through common questions families have about tutoring and talk about how to make the most of your studies. Join me in the journey of discovering the benefits of tutoring. Welcome back to our lovely podcast. I'm really happy that you're listening to this episode. And before we start, I would like you to do two things. First, if you know someone who could benefit from listening to this episode, please share it with them. That's how we can support more parents and students with the preparation for the exams. Secondly, if you love listening to our podcast, it would be great if you could leave a five-star rating or a review. Exams consist of many different topics. Trying to learn or revise them all at the same time can be challenging. Thus, teachers and tutors introduce concepts in smaller batches. This reduces the amount of material students need to learn at a time. Yet, during exam preparation, solving questions from various topics is important too. In this episode, we will discuss when to do so and why initial separation of topics is important. We will then suggest ways to practice different exam topics. If you were to open a past paper of an exam you have never studied for, you could be quite overwhelmed. Questions may range from simpler concepts and more advanced calculations from many topics. This is a common mistake among students trying to prepare for exams. They try answering questions from past papers before they have covered relevant topics. When the tutor explains such questions, the student moves on to the next problem from a different topic. This does not provide a full picture of knowledge involved in the subject field. This revision time becomes a scattered switching between a variety of concepts. The student then feels like they have not learned much regardless of the variety of questions. It is quite a different story when student covers subject content in smaller bits. When the student has covered the majority of topics, they could revise the full subject content. At that stage, a student already has enough knowledge to answer many questions. Also, mixed past paper problems can remind us of the areas that need revisiting. There are likely to be some gaps in the knowledge when revising previous topics. Yet students may feel better that they are already able to answer some questions. Such revision environment is encouraging and motivating. Thus, students can revise the full exam content closer to the exams. Solving past or practice papers is not the only way to revise exam content or to discover areas to improve. If a student has not covered some of the topics yet, past papers could be irrelevant. In such case, I often suggest to my students to use our revision pages. We personalize the pages to them and the subject they are studying. These revision pages are like bags of notes full of problems from covered topics. Students get a list of questions from the bag, allowing them to practice acquired skills. The bag does not contain any problems from future topics. Thus, revision pages are more relevant to the needs of each student. Both covering new content and revising various topics before exams is important. Students can apply a combination of the two at relevant stages of exam preparation. Past papers are usually useful closer to the exams. They help going through a variety of concepts and remind students of topics to revise. Revision pages are useful while learning new information. Consider how far away is your exam and this might help you decide if you should revise a variety of topics. So that's my two pennies for today. I hope you found them useful. If you want to discuss your tutoring needs in more detail, book a call with me on studiesquare.co.uk. I hope you have a great week ahead. Stay tuned for the next podcast episode and take care. Thank you for listening to Parents Guide to Tutoring. If you'd like to get hold of our exam revision guide, go to studiesquare.co.uk forward slash PDF and let's turn your exam experience into a success story.